Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to interface LED and buzzer by programming Nordic Thingy 52 using KL Microvision 5. For programming Thingy 52, you will need to connect it to NRF 5 to DK board with 10 pin JTAG ribbon cable and connect pin 19 ports to Thingy P9. Download Nordic Thingy 52 SDK from the official website of Nordic Semiconductors. Then open Thingy FW GitHub page in your browser to know how to set up the SDK by going through the prerequisites. After that, Open the project file present in the Thingy SDK in Kale IDE as shown in the video. Open the driver external light.c file and driver speaker.c file inside the thingy drivers folder present under the project window located in the left side of KL IDE. After making the necessary changes in the above mentioned files as shown in the video, click on the rebuild option. Give the functions for light in driver external light.c. You can also choose the color of your choice. Give all the function calls in driver external light dot h. Give the functions of light in driver speaker dot C. This is the function for buzzer.
After you have copied the functions of driver external dot c in driver speaker dot c, you can remove it from the project. Then click on the download option. If it shows application running in the build output window below, then you have successfully programmed your Nordic Thingy 52 by interfacing LED and buzzer. Then you can load the program. Now, to see the changes in your thingy, connect it to your mobile using Nordic Thingy app and follow the instructions as shown in the video. You can also download the Nordic Thingy app from Play Store or App Store. You will notice that for each sample sound, different color LED will glow. Thank you for watching the video. For any queries, you can comment in the comment section below.